Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I am listening to Reverend Horton Heat and they will be performing Psychobilly Freakout. So here we go. So that was Reverend Horton Haight and Sacrally Freak Out. I like that. Um, I struggle to tell the difference between, sometimes between psychobilly, rockabilly, and even some punk. Um, it sounds so, so similar to me that um, I think these genres, um, for a large part, just ridiculous. Uh, let's I guess it lets people live in echo chambers or be tribal but I'm not sure that it's really good for music as a whole um, I think a lot of bands would have a wider audience without these restrictive labels put on them uh, but I think people just don't listen to certain bands because they're described as belonging to this genre and they don't like that genre of music. Um, music can be very tribal at times. Um, but I do believe this, I don't know whether it's true, but from what I've heard this was a song that brought psychobilly back into it. Uh, getting attention it had kind of died off and been forgotten about and then uh, Reverend Horton Heat released this song and it got brought a lot more interest back into the psychobilly genre uh, but I thought it was a, a great song the guitar and that was great 
um, so is the upright bass, the drums, uh, the vocals. Are, so it's a great song. A bit about them. The Reverend Houghton Heat is the stage name of American musician James C. Heath as well as the name of his Dallas, Texas based Psychobilly Trio. Heath is a singer, songwriter and guitarist. A Prick magazine reviewer called Heath the godfather of modern rockabilly and psychobilly. The group formed in 1986 playing its first gigs in Dallas's Deep Ellum neighborhood. The core members are Jim Reverend Horton Heath on guitar and lead vocals and Jimbo Wallace on the upright bass. Uh, the band plays rock and roll with influences from 1950s country, surf, punk, big band, swing and rockabilly standards. Smoke em if you've got them is their debut album released in 1990 on the label Sub Pop. This record was made live in the studio. An early version of the album had been recorded in the traditional manner. Instruments and vocals recorded separately then mixed in the studio. However, the band and the label decided it did not fit with their vision, so it was re-recorded live in the studio, direct to two track, with the exception of Love Whip, so I could believe Freak Out is track six. Yeah, Reverend uh, Jim Reverend Horton Heath, guitar and vocals, Jimbo Wallace, upright bass, Patrick Taz Bentley on drums. Um, yes, I'm a fan of live in the studio recordings um, uh, because I'm a big fan of live music. I think these live in the um, studio recordings uh, give you a, a closer sound to what they're like, what it's like to see them live. So yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of albums being recorded live in the studio. I think especially some of the punk bands are they just don't seem to be able to, a lot of rock bands, capture what it's like to see them live when it's just recorded in the traditional way in the studio. Uh, anyway, I enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you would like to support the channel, the best way to do that is by liking, subscribing and commenting. It all helps. And I hope to see you on another video soon. Thanks for watching.